this is Ilma Art Studio Photograph for today. That's one of my favorite houses in Orangeville. A very nice uh, wrap in veranda in the house. And um, it really looks very romantic to me. That's why I always take this picture. Check my website at ilmaarts.com for more of my artworks and photographs. Another hot day today. and. Um, but it's actually very cold, cool in the morning, like 10 degrees, and then it turns to 18, and then it turns to 20 plus. So today is probably 27 degrees right now. So which I just came from a workout, and um, I'm going to share with you my poem devotional, which is extracted from John 15, verse 2. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. And here's my poem. God prunes us. Are, you, are your activities geared on God's kingdom? Does your life exhibit peace, love, and freedom? Whenever we are unproductive in life, God wants you to believe in Him and sit tight. He cuts off every branch that doesn't produce. He wants you to acknowledge His gifts and use. God prunes the branches that do not bear fruit. His words make us grow. It is our soul's food. And pruning, this is the essay part. Pruning is uh, cutting undesired twigs, branches, or roots from the trees or the plants or the shrubs. It is to get rid of uh, or clear anything superfluous or undesirable. It is very important, it is a very important aspect of gardening. And if you want your trees to bear fruit or your shrubs to look good and healthy, you would want to do pruning. The Bible likens God to a gardener who cuts off every branch that doesn't produce fruit and prunes those that do bear fruit so that they will produce more. He removes things in our lives that is unproductive and trims our excesses so that we can be productive even more. He allows only what will be good for our lives and cuts off anything that will hurt us or disconnect us from Him. Prayer. Lord, thank you for pruning me. Reflection. Why does God prune us? Or what has God pruned in your life lately? And. Um, I'd just like to share some testimonies regarding that. A lot of times, God cuts off something that we love so much, but sometimes we don't realize that something that we love so much take us take away a lot of time that we have to be spending with God. So, and that's probably one of the reasons why He, he removes it in our lives. And I, I would know for a fact that um, when God gave me the gift to be a painter, to, to learn how to paint, because I'm a self-taught painter, I put so much emphasis and effort on disciplining myself into becoming a good painter. And at the time, it I was really fruitful because I never ever lost any time for the Lord for those 10 years, that my first 10 years of painting career. I was able to sell a lot of my paintings. But when I moved to Canada, I thought I was just going to continue on something. But then God actually brought me here and um, revealed to me that there's something more that He wants me to do for Him. And this is exactly the ministry that I'm doing right now, is to evangelize His Word and to share with people the testimonies of how God has really worked in my life, how He pruned my life and how he cut off all the things that I don't need in my life so that I will be more focused on him. So I invite you to allow God to cut off everything that does not bear fruit in your life and to, tr to prune all the things that needs to be pruned so that you can be more productive. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.